Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of incredible stories today. We've got a space weather watch. Please recall there will be no show Sunday morning, taking February 13th off. And we're starting here with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun relatively quiet despite snaps and shifts. Corona Hole on the south is connecting to Earth magnetically for an earthquake watch tonight. And while it's all calm up there, things are reverberating at Earth. The KP index is coming back down this morning after the CME impact caused minor geomagnetic storms yesterday, and we may see a reverberation today as the solar wind pressure is on the rise again this morning. Got another minor storm watch. Let's go out to the closest star system, the Centauri system. It contains three stars, the closest one, Proxima Centauri, and then twins in a dance, Alpha A and B. Scientists had previously detected rings and planetary features around Proxima, the closest star, and today they think they've spotted number three. This would be a sub-Earth, which is a tremendously difficult thing to spot outside the solar system, and it tells us stars have tons of planets we still can't see despite the progress in exoplanet discovery over the last 10 years. A galactic graveyard up next. The discovery of so much variation in clusters is a major challenge to every galactic formation and evolution model, not to mention how they fit into the larger models of the universe. No existing mainstream theory can explain these findings. And last but not least, the highest ever X-ray light from Jupiter, an incredible discovery that swerves off the road in explanation. They think it's always been there, and previous missions just couldn't see it. The problem is, they try to explain why the Ulysses mission missed it, and I give their explanation a C-. Then, without doing the same for the better Chandra and XMM Newton missions, they just claim only the newest, new star, can see this light. Poppycock, Hogwash, Balderdash, Codswallop, Res Ipsa Loquitur, Chandra and XMM Newton would have spotted this, no doubt. And what it means is that Jupiter is leveling up energy interaction with near-space environment. The solar wind, the cosmic rays, and the galactic current sheet reversing this system and bringing about the new age of Earth. If any part of that was confusing, learn about this galactic-driven solar system shift, its cycle, the changes on the other planets, and everything else about the ongoing cycle reset. And for website members at suspiciousobservers.org, yesterday's deeper look shows the Earth tilt, the new equator, and describes the tsunami directions during the tilt and the sloshbacks afterwards. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.